I was earning less than 500 pounds a month. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances and if you're new here, I talk about all things navigating my way through the UK immigration system for the past 15 years. And today I have a video for you where I'm talking about how I was able to successfully apply for a change of conditions on my stay. So what is a change of conditions? A change of conditions is when you apply for the conditions on your leave to remain to be removed. So usually if you're given stay or leave to remain on the basis of the tenure route on private life or family life, there's usually a condition on your stay, which is no recourse to public funds. So it's re usually at the back of your stay where they put no recourse to public funds. And what this means is that you have no access to any public benefits whatsoever. If you have a child, you can't apply for child benefit or universal credit or anything like that. No support from the government whatsoever. And usually they put this on the stay of someone who has been granted leave on the basis of a private life or family life on the 10 year route. Now, I was granted leave in 2015 and I had this condition on my stay, but I didn't see any issue with it because I was working. I was working two jobs, I was earning money, so I had no issue with it. But in 2019, I became pregnant with my daughter and I had a really difficult pregnancy, so I couldn't work as much. The two jobs that I had, I had to leave one and only stay with another. And the one that I was working, I was hardly working because I was in and out of hospital all the time because I was really ill and had some complications. So I couldn't really work as much. This meant that my finances was really, really low and really poor. I was about to have a baby and my... Um, daughter's father he lives in Africa so he couldn't really support us as much as I would have liked for him to and so that meant that um, I was really re things were really really bad even though I was working my finances were I was earning less than 500 pounds a month and I was thinking how am I going to be able to look after my daughter provide for her if I have this amount if I if I hardly make any money to look after myself alone and that's when i started looking for charities that could help and i found a charity that then said that, that i can make an application for um them to remove the condition on my stay i was like what i didn't even know this and i know that some of you might be watching this you don't even know or you didn't even know that you can do this yes you can apply for the home office the uk visa immigration to remove the chain the condition on your stay because of the change in your circumstance and so i i asked them how do i go about doing it and they said you just um go on the website and do it i searched for it for myself i went on google search change, change of conditions and the application came up i filled in the application and sent it off i sent the application and waited for them to get back to me i think maybe it took about a month or or, or just under and they wrote back to me when they wrote back now when you're doing the application, it asks for you to provide a certain amount of documents and bank that this includes bank statements, um, any, you know what, instead of me guessing what they are, because I can't remember, I'm going to put the list on the screen so that you can see what I'm talking about. So it requires this certain amount and before it actually asked for three months bank statement. So I sent three months bank statement. So after a month, they wrote back to me and they said that they did a credit search on my name and it came back that I had a credit card and I also had another account. So I needed to send those two statements and not only three months, I needed to send six months worth of bank statements. So I then gather all of this information i got all my bank accounts my savings account i had nothing in there anyway guys literally i had nothing because i'd gotten married the year before and all my savings had been spent on a wedding and so yeah i had no money so i sent all of that and all the other information that they required including my biometric resident permit my brp i sent it off to them and i think within like a week they sent it back and i'd been granted the um change of conditions so they'd remove the condition on my stay and um 
yeah that was literally it but obviously i had to i had to also show them that um i couldn't work anymore as much as i was working because the change of conditions is you're asking for them to remove the condition on your stay because your circumstances have now changed so my circumstances had now changed because i couldn't work as much and not working as much meant that i couldn't earn as much money so they looked at the circumstances and all the medical issues that i was having with my pregnancy and so they removed the condition on my stay and then I was just going and then they just sent, they sent me a new biometric resident permit without the no cost of public funds at the back and that's how I was able to get help so with that I was able to get help with housing also apply for child benefits and also be able to apply for universal credit so i work it's not that i don't work i work but my earnings are not enough to be able to provide for me and my daughter with my earnings i can't pay my rent pay child care and um, cover our living expenses it's just not enough so they look into all of these situations so because um that condition was removed from my stay i was then able to apply for universal credit and be able to get help so on top of my earnings i'm able to get a little bit extra to be able to look after myself and my daughter i'm also able to get help with housing costs i'm able to get help with council tax reduction so many things but i'm gonna get into that in another video where i'm going to explain all about the benefits that you can get um when the change of conditions is removed from your stay and um how i navigate my life as a single mom who um is able to who is working but also be able to get help from the government so yes guys that's how i was able to do it so if you want to do it i'm going to put the link of um the page in the description so that you can go on there yourself and look at all the requirements and see if it fits you and how you can apply loads of people don't know about this and this is available honestly and it's an application i was able to do myself i didn't require any solicitor any lawyer i did it myself and i've made loads of other applications to the home office myself without needing any help or um any help from a solicitor i'm not saying that you can't get help and advice from a solicitor if you can afford it you should but i'm also i'm coming here to be able to give people the option that if you can't afford the um to pay for immigrant immigration solicitor you can go and look at what the um law says and see if you meet these criteria and if you can apply to be able to get these um things I know you might be watching this and you might be saying to yourself, oh, I don't know how to navigate myself through the um, application. I don't know how to do it. There are actually organizations um, that actually help people with making these applications. I'm going to put a link to some of them. And honestly, if you just type in on the internet, no request to public funds, a lot of them will come up. Or if, if it's a borough that you're living in, you can type in or the area that you're living in. You can type in, for example, let's say you live in Southwark, you can type in no request to public funds Southwark. Or if you live in Newham, you can type in no request to public funds Newham. And it should be able to bring the website up, um, um, in regards to their team that can help you with making the application if you can't do it yourself but if you if you're like me you're able to navigate your way through the application process and you can do it for yourself then go ahead and do it and provide all the requirements and hopefully they will grant it to you but yeah this is possible guys you can apply for them to remove the no recost of public funds on your stay and you can be able to get help where you need it obviously i think they need to genuinely see that you do need the help that you can't um your financial life has changed or your circumstances has changed and you genuinely need the help if you genuinely don't need the help they will they can see through your application they can see because they scrutinize your um bank statements they look at every transaction they look at what you've been doing with your money so if they see that oh actually you have money in your account or you've had money and you've sent it to someone else or whatever the case may be they will reject you but if they see that you genuinely need it they will accept your application so yeah anyways guys i hope that this video has been really helpful for you all and i hope that you're able to make an application to remove the no recourse to public funds condition on your stay if you like what you've seen in this video today make sure you like comment and subscribe and don't forget to share so that more people can see these videos take care guys and i'll see you again soon bye